I'm be honest, guys. I'm not sure what to think about this. An electric <laughs> muscle car? With like, right? All right, wrap your head around this. Because right here, looks like a traditional Resto mod. You got a nice little four nine inch. You got coilovers, big brakes. You got a four link setup. Like things back this here. Is, this is sweet the way it is. Legit. Right? You got your frame rail connectors. And we got a modern subframe. We got rack yeah. and pinion steering. Oof. IFS, the coilovers, the whole bit. But huh. this one is going to be set up different because everyone has a different taste, different, yeah. likes different flavors. So we got Kevin here from eMuscle. Now these guys, which really cool is like in today's world, you've got yeah. the always producing EVs. You got some DIYers piecing some stuff together. A lot of it's pretty sketchy, maybe not even oh. safe. Or you and have guys like Kevin at eMuscle Cars doing the whole kit for you. Yeah, putting the package together, making it safe, making it simple, right? So. And you guys are focusing on like from a like a crate engine kind of perspective where you have all that stuff, the wiring and the harness, like you're picking some of the top models out there, like some of the favorites on the classics. Yeah, so we're starting off with some of the most popular, you know, muscle car and classic car models, Corvettes, Mustangs, Camaros. So instead yeah. of your traditional crate motor drop in, we had to have a crate motor electric drop in. You know, it truly is a crate motor. Yeah, 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 it shows up in a crate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, there's a whole lot of stuff here that's going to be new for all wow. of us. So yeah. we're going to pick Kevin's brain here. I think we got to take some of this gear, maybe lay it out and walk through what it is that makes up an EV, what you guys bring to the table, and how it might go in this thing. That would definitely make it more clear, yeah. All right, let's do that, guys. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. All right, so here it is. It's crazy to think about. This is the equivalent of a V6 or a V8, actually. And look how small it is, you can just give it a hug. <laughs> Here's your motor, inverter, gearbox, it's all right here. This configuration right now is what, 300? Yep, 300 right around horsepower. 300 horsepower. And you have just slight changes, you can make this same package into 500, Just right? over 500, yep. And so we've got this set up here, and then we've got a couple other pieces over here. So. Correct, so yeah, inside these boxes, we've got the batteries, we've got the battery management systems, the wiring, the cell taps that can monitor the temperatures and the cell resistance and the voltage of each individual cell inside the battery. That's and something else I'm seeing too is- You've got a whole frame here. Right, weight distribution. Think about that, because batteries weigh a lot. If you're you know, heavy in the front, right, you can start to 50-50 that car out a little bit better than what it was from the factory. Every car we can kit we build, we try to even out the weight a little better than we found it. I think we gotta start building something, right? right? So where should we start? Packs, power plant, where's the best way to get going? Let's do it with the motor. I, I like it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun, guys. Okay. Is the bolt in, really? No. Oh, I thought yours was. Okay, come down. Yeah, that's sweet. All right, now we got our drive line fully connected. It's time to add the juice. Now, how much power watts? What's going on in here? So we offer a few different battery sizes for the car, depending on your range, the use of the car, anywhere from 75 to 200 mile range. All right, and then this one has sort of a cage around it. What's going on with that? So all of our batteries, you know, safety comes first with an EV, well, with any car, but especially with an EV. So we design a collision barrier on any battery that's not within the frame. Okay. So this battery is going obviously in the trunk area where the gas tank used to be. These older vehicles don't have crumple zones and some of the safety features that modern cars have. So we design in a roll cage for the battery yeah. box. Also, the battery boxes are isolated from the chassis by rubber bushings here in the frame and in the front of this cage. So if you do happen to get in a collision, tweak your frame, whatever, you're not tweaking your battery box. Now it looks like you're using the rear spring perch here yep, for the so mount. Since and... we, yeah, so since we've got the much upgraded rear suspension, We've got a right. lot of room back here. There's a lot of real estate with Remember, no leaf springs. Remember, this used to have leaf springs, so they took those, you know, those identification holes, right? And that's where they use some of these here. So factory holes. Yeah, structure points. And, yeah, and and locate where this tank is gonna go, where this fuel <laughs> cell is gonna go, if you will. All right, well, let me lower the car yeah. down a little bit so then we can lift this up in there okay. and get it, it installed. It plugs right in. We're gonna take a quick break. On the other side, we're gonna add juice to the front end. Hey, welcome back, guys. Yes, we're still in our Mustang, our very first e-muscle car, which has been pretty exciting for us. 65 Mustang GT350. It's not. Don't worry. We're not doing that. Uh, it's a GT350 clone. Uh, we have our boy Kevin from e-muscle cars. Dude, this has been a pretty sweet package. So we got the back buttoned up, dropped the battery in there, right? Got all the driveline hooked up. This is our motor. Now we're doing a battery in the front. We uh, talked about earlier that 50-50 weight, because you're always striving for that. You're always trying to get that 
car more 50-50 balanced? Yeah, so we got half the batteries already installed in the back. Yeah. And yep. the other box is exactly the other half going right in the front. Some of the bigger ones, you just go out and do smoky burnouts. Oh, just yeah. Just roast them. Yeah. Well, the, so he keeps talking about horsepower, which is good, and that makes it you know close to the original horsepower of the car, or a little more. But the big number is the torque. Oh, yeah. So yeah. the electric motors make a lot of torque, and they make it instantly. So this motor makes about 370 foot-pounds of torque at the motor, but it's got... At zero RPM. At zero right, RPM. Right, right. Yeah. Which so is not instant. a big block back in the day, you know? Sooner. But also, the gearbox on this uh, is a torque multiplier. So it, it cranks that torque up by about three, and then you go through the rear differential. It's another three and a half, four. So, I mean, you're talking 4,000 foot-pounds of torque here at the tire. <laughs> <laughs> make some bigger tire. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. Wire right. tire for sure. So we're going to grab this pack. We're going to throw it up in the front here. I see the four mounts down here, like plug and play, really simple. And then from there, I assume we're just making connections and plugging things together on the harness that you kind of rerouted for us. Yep, exactly. So the battery drops straight in. And then we hook up the wires, plug in some coolant, and we're ready to go. You got to mount that little hammer? Every system has a high voltage junction box. It has the contactors housed in it and some of the logic that opens and closes the contractor to turn the motor on, connect the batteries in the system. It's kind of the muscle that connects all the electrical systems. And you're in. Cool. All right, next is the battery connection. And then latch, there you go. Then we can plug our charger in. Wow. That's in. We can put our back battery up and plug this guy in. All right. So there you have it. Just like that, a complete car build is done in an afternoon. <laughs> uh, through the magic of TV, we do that quite often, but this is like real time. It was amazing how quick it went together and you got a legit e-powered muscle car, which is kind of mind blowing for everybody to think about. It's yeah, really I cool. Think it's all about putting the system together, sure. right? That whole kind of e-crate kind of mentality. Now there's clearly some wiring things that you'd already had prepped, but the bulk of the stuff yeah. to kind of get in there. We had a gutted rolling chassis, you know, earlier today. And now we've got a fully populated drivetrain system, you know, with an EV yeah. motor, inverter, charger. Right. But it all came together really well, man. Yeah. It's a, a really thought out platform. Kevin's got a few more things to button up and we're gonna go take this for a test drive. All right, man, first impressions. Kind of what you would think, like instant torque, like really powerful, really strong. And then it's got that nice kind of cruising quietness, except when we hit train tracks, of course, you know? But sure. from a ride standpoint, yes, on the one side, you're probably missing out on the big rumbles. But I think a lot of your customers or inquiries are from people that love that, you know, old classic car, but they're not really the gearhead that wants to deal with leaky oil pans and valve gaskets and carburetor gummed up and... Exactly, and you still get that muscle car drive feel. It still is a pro touring, you know, classic muscle car. Yeah, this thing is it's tight, man. Brakes, it's like on it's rails, got, yeah, got good suspension. A great suspension. It's got everything you want, minus the rumble. Makes more torque than the original V8. Makes same horsepower and zero maintenance. So it's a pretty win-win for the guy that's not the gearhead. One thing I think sets the muscle cars apart from a lot of the other guys doing this is we're an engineering team versus a hot rod team. I've been building race cars for 20 plus years. So, you know, just knowing the tech behind correct fastener choice, safety wiring things, you know, making sure things are the right torque spec, the right bolt, the right everything you need is twice as critical on an electrical system. You know, it's fun to be the stoplight and rev it up, but it's also fun to know that you have the fastest car on the block and it's totally still.